If you've done wrong, you should, you should be punished for that. That's Franklin Dees, who was sentenced to 29 years in a North Carolina prison for armed robbery. He eventually got out and years later was elected mayor of Marshville, North Carolina. The nationally known speaker was in Detroit talking about prison reform. You should actually take that time to help that person become a better citizen as opposed to just keeping him there, punishing him over and over and over. Dees favors rehabilitation versus punishment and was shocked to find out that in Michigan there are no incentives to reduce a sentence for good behavior. I think not Michigan, I think everyone needs incentives for people who are in prison because the recidivism rate is outrageous. The national recidivism rate is at 66%. Now, while the national recidivism rate may be 66%, Michigan's is 23.6%, the fourth best in the country. Yet when D's acted up in prison, they put him in with death row inmates. You did not see the light mm -hmm. until they put you on death row. Not that you're going to die, right? But it changed your life. In other words, that was punishment. Do you that think that people need to be punished before they can be rehabilitated? Maybe not to that extreme, <laughs> you know. But it worked for you. It, it did work for me, but uh, yes, it did work for me, and that's a hard question. But still, that was a bit extreme. I would hope somewhere down the road I would have seen the light without actually going to death row. Prison for D's 30 years ago. He spent the last 14 years as mayor, and now he's the city manager of Marshville, North Carolina, population 2,700. This is a little funny thing. So uh, the same police force that arrested me, now they answer to me. <laughs> Yet prison reform is his passion. And in terms of dollars, he says it costs roughly the same amount for one year in prison than it does to educate someone at the University of Michigan. There's no country in the world who has a higher prison population than the United States. But there's 46 countries who have a higher population of college students than in the United States. So what's wrong with that picture? In Detroit, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.